Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. In this video, I want to introduce the Locked Touch Smart Lock. And this is a smart lock that's a little bit different than other smart locks on the market. And that's because it's completely keyless. So it actually replaces some of that keyed infrastructure that you have in your door, and it replaces that with a smart touch to open functionality. And how that works is via Bluetooth. So it actually knows when your phone is close, so when you're approaching the door, and it'll show up a little touch to open symbol that you can tap on and the door will open. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can see that it actually replaces the housing of your door handle. And you can open it from the inside manually, as with most doors, and you can also lock it here. So if I twist this knob, I'll try and show you this. But you can lock it manually. Now, that's not the purpose of a smart lock, right? I mean, you're thinking, okay, so you can lock the door manually, I get it. Well, if we jump into the locked app, you can see here that I've already got my homey office lock set up. Now, if I tap on it, I have a couple of smart commands I can send to this lock. So if I wanted to open it again, after I just manually locked it, I can tap on open. You'll see the command is sent, the door opens. And the door handle part also opens. Now that's because, if I show you the other side, there's actually no door handle on this side. So you need this latch to open in order to access the door. Now from the locked app, you can go ahead, lock the door again. You can also go into your settings for your key. So you can add an access code. That's a six digit code that you can also use to unlock the door. And you can add a couple of other functions. So you can create guest keys, so you can send or share access to your home with other people. And if you head over to my lock, you can see the status of your lock. So I can see that it's got a battery level of 100% because I just installed it. Now you also get a couple of other options like auto lock functionality, an open house mode for when you want guests to be able to enter your home without having to send out invite keys to 20 different people. Um, okay, that's not applicable in this time, but when you can invite 20 friends over again, then you don't want to do that. So you can add an open house um, mode. And then you can add a couple of schedules in the app. Now, the locked app is great for what it does. So it's connected to the smart lock and you get some of that functionality. Now, I want to actually add the lock to Homey because I have a smart home and I want this door lock to be part of that smart home. So I can add it to some of my flows that I have running, create some great automations with it, and have it really become integrated into my home. Now that makes sense, for instance, for my nighttime security flows or good morning flows when I want the door to perhaps unlock. Now I actually wanna show you this lock in action. So I'm gonna change up some of the cameras here and make sure that you can see it and show you how to touch to open and how you can add your access code if you have to. So I've laid the lock down here so that you can get a better view of it. Now if I tap, on the touch screen here, on the outside of the door, I can actually enter a code. So my code for this door is one, 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 two, two, two. Now if I type that in, you'll see the door opens. And I get a nice welcome home message. Now that's a great added function for if you don't have your phone on you, perhaps you left it at home when you left the house, and you can still get back inside. Now, it also has a touch to open function. So if I grab my phone, and for this to work, you actually have to leave your home and then come back, and then touch to open will appear on the screen. Then you can just tap it, and the door will open for you. Let me show you this real quick. I'm gonna need to leave and then come back. So I just went for a little walk out of the office, came back, and now you can see that touch to open appears on the screen here because it's sensed that I have my mobile with me. It has that Bluetooth connection. And now all I need to do to open the door, is touch to open. Now, I've shown you some of the functionality that comes with the lock. And if I flip it over, I can show you what the lock actually looks like on the inside. So once you got the handle off, you can slip this cover off. And now you can see what the internals look like. So you'll see that the locked touch smart lock is powered by eight AA batteries. Now these batteries come with the pack, but when you need to replace them, it's good to know what kind of batteries go in there. 
According to Locked, you should be able to install this yourself. And they say that it takes around 20 minutes of your time. And with a screwdriver, you should be able to do the whole process yourself. Now they compare it to setting up an Ikea cabinet. So if you can do that yourself, you should be able to do this too. And they have some handy installation videos and tutorials for how to do this yourself. So you won't get lost in the process and then be stuck with a door that doesn't have a lock on it anymore. Now let me put it back together, hook it up to Homie, create some flows with it, and have it seamlessly integrate with the rest of my smart home. Now I've got the smart lock put back together, and now we can connect it up to Homie. Let me show you how that process goes. If I jump over to the Homie app, we'll add it just like any other device. So head up into the top right in your devices panel, hit the plus, and type in locked. So I can select the app here and I'm connecting the touch smart lock. So I hit connect and you'll be asked to add your locked login credentials. So the account you created with locked, add them in here and that connects the two up. Once that connection is complete, you'll see the locked lock appear here with the name that you gave it. So I've given mine the name homey office. Now, I can actually hold on the device tile to get a couple more options. Now here you'll see that the smart lock is in the unlocked position or unlocked state. That's because it's actually not locked at the moment. Now if I tap on this, it'll send the command to locked and my door will lock. And if you want to unlock it again, tap on it, it'll send that command and it should unlock. Now you might have noticed that the door didn't actually open. So this part up here, where the door handle is attached to, didn't actually open. It actually just changed state. So when the deadbolt is out, it's in a locked state. And when it goes back in, it's in an unlocked state. So that means that from the inside, you can open the door. And in this case, because there's no door handle on the outside, you still can't get in. Then the next thing you need to do is swipe to the right and swipe up and tap on open. What this will do is send an open command to the locked touch smart lock and open the door for you. Now let's jump into flows and create a flow for locked. So if I had to create a flow, now for the when state for this flow, I actually wanna make sure that at sunset, the door is locked. So overnight, the door is always in a locked state. I can do that right here. So I'm gonna head over to date and time and I'm gonna choose the sun sets. Now this is actually a variable time, depending on the time of year and when exactly that sun sets. So I'll hit the check mark. For the den card, I'm gonna head down to the homey office, that's the name I gave to this locked touch smart lock, tap on it, and you can see some of the options I get here. So I can lock the door, I can unlock the door, or I can change the lock state. So what I'd like to do is actually change that locked state to locked for overnight. So I'm gonna tap on that, head to lock and hit the check mark. Now, if I save this flow and just call it door locked overnight, then this flow will always be active in the background. So every night when the sun sets, the door will change state to locked. Now, don't worry because it still has the touch to open functionality. You can still open it from within. It just is a more secure lock. So the deadbolt will be out and I'll make sure that that door is locked. Now, what you can also do with Homey, if you're already a user, you can actually add your smart door lock to other flows you've got running. So for example, if I head back and add to my flows, then I could, for instance, add it to my coming home after work. So here, I can go into my then and add a card that actually unlocks the door for me. Now, an alternative would be, for instance, to add it to my flow for the last person left home. So if I head into that flow, you can see that I'm using presence detection to know when the last person in my home has actually left their home. Then, as a then card, I currently have it to turn off my lights and to set the temperature to 16 degrees. So it's more of an energy saving flow at the moment. But if I wanted to add the door lock and make sure that it locks, all I need to do is add a card, head down to my smart lock, select it, and select lock. I'll hit the tick. And now I know that when the last person leaves my home, 
that door automatically locks. So it's a great way to have that peace of mind with your flows. So you know this is always happening in the background for your smart home. Now I've tried to highlight some of the interesting features of the locked touch smart lock. And I've also shown you that it connects seamlessly with Homey. And that means that you can create flows and have it become a real part of your smart home. So a lot of you Homey users will know that every flow is different. The way that you design it, the way that you set it up, that's all down to you for your home and your situation. And you can change these on the go. So remember that you can design your lock touch smart lock to work with your smart home in exactly the way you want it to with Homey.